All right, Pokemon trainers, how's it going? I'm Trainer Connor, and it's time for a showdown Wi Fi battle video. If you enjoy this Wi Fi battle, you can subscribe, you can like this video. The reason I'm going on showdown today is mainly because I don't have any Wi Fi battles in my Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire cartridge right now. But the ICL, the league that I'm part of as of this moment, is restarting. So I will hopefully post a ICL uh, draft analysis for the new Pokemon that I drafted and all that. And then we'll resume the league as if nothing happened. Uh, a lot of people dropped out, so we have to restart on that. But in the meantime, I figured I could just post a showdown match for you all. Now, uh, this particular match, I was actually playing this battle while I was in my last class, my last class of the day at school, and that was during my video production class. So I was, you know, free for like half an hour. I was like, you know what, let's go on showdown and try out a few things here. Okay, so on my side, we have a... Uh, Weavile Mega Charizard X because I'm actually going to be using this Pokemon a lot later and you'll learn more about that as time moves on and then we have a shiny Raikou because this particular Raikou has Aura Sphere in order to have it with that particular move Aura Sphere I need to make it sh make it shiny and make it a rash nature you have to make it so that it's legal and whatnot and we have a defensive Clefable. You guys saw me use Clefable a lot in my uploads. You guys probably know how I use it and all that. I hope so. And then we have Skarmory. Uh, Skarmory is going to help us out with getting up entry hazards and going with Tailwind. Uh, Tailwind is, of course, a move that will make your, your team have higher... Uh, speed the normal for like five turns and finally we are trying out Manaphy and the reason I'm going with Manaphy uh, Manaphy is a Pokemon that is really hard to get in game you have to get it via event or by hacking and I don't like to hack my DS so I'm gonna have to hopefully get a legit Manaphy and the only way to get one is by going on showdown and Hopefully getting one through an event, which I hope they get another event for Manaphy in the, f in the future. So uh, this week I'm actually um, going to go with a choice specs Manaphy and hopefully in the near future I can use Manaphy with a different item. But this is a choice specs Manaphy. I'm just going to give it a shot here because I haven't used it before. And we'll see how this battle goes. The main facts on my opponent's side are actually going to be the Gyarados or the Star Raptor. Uh, mainly because, okay, Gyarados can go Mega, it can go with Dragon Dance, or to a lesser extent, be a choice scarf and waterfall, all the things that can get flinched to death. Who knows? And of course, Star Raptor, uh, Star Raptor can go Banded, it can go Scarf. Or I can go sharp beak or something weird like that. But to my standpoint, keeping Weavile alive and Charizard al alive, uh, it will help me out throughout this match. So I'm going to go ahead and play this thing. Um, we'll see how this goes. So the first turn of the match, I'm going to start out with Skarmory, presumably to get the entry hazards. And of course, he's going to start out with Weavile, as you see here. The first turn of the match, he goes with a taunt. Very well played by him. I can't use spikes. So, um, I don't have stealth lock for some reason. I went with spikes because I would probably see more grounded Pokemon and no other flying type Pokemon. But we see on my opponent's side here, he's got Star Raptor, he's got Thunderous, he's got uh, Mew, which are Pokemon that are in the air, so spikes will not be affected by it. I guess Stealth Rock would work out here in this scenario, but not in this uh, scenario. 
Wow, that was such a great sentence. But anyway, so, um, he pursued shots me. I go to Mega Evolution. That was another good play by him. But now I can get get my Mega Evolution with no worries. Uh, if he has Ice Shard, I have ro I have Roost on this set, so um, I'm not too bothered by it. He goes with another taunt, probably expecting um, Charizard to go with the Dragon Dance. I don't have Dragon Dance on this uh, Charizard X. He actually, um, well actually I was expecting him to switch. That's why I went with a Crunch. I really should have gone with a Ice Burp, uh, Fire Punch, excuse me. Uh, he went for an Icicle Crash, but I avoid it, and that means I can go with a Fire Punch and take out Weavile. Okay, so Gyarados is here. Of course, I said that it's going to be a huge threat in this battle, but you know what? We are going to give it our best shot. We're going to give Manaphy a shot here. And like I said, he has Dragon Dance. I live this plus one crunch. Uh, he has, when he goes Mega, you lose the Flying Typing, so Energy Ball is going to do a lot more damage. It's super effective. Uh... I could have gone with a Scald, but it's not super effective, but I could get the burn chance there, but it's a 50-50, by my knowledge. So, with that in mind, I'm going to go into Skarmory. Hopefully, I can get some energy hazards, but I get flinched by the Ice Fang, and that just, that is hacks for you, because I was going to get my Spikes just to get some damage onto the Calm Kelder, who's grounded, and... I think that's the only one. So I guess having some additional damage to Kong Helder would be nice, but I don't get that, which is unfortunate. But since the Gyarados is part dark, I can go into Clefable, who's a fairy type, and go with a Moonblast or Thunderbolt. I chose Thunderbolt, why not? Uh, and we are able to take out Mega Gyarados. And another Pokemon that's going to be an issue is going to be Star Raptor. Uh, we see recoil damage from the uh, double edge. I was actually expecting him to have, I don't know. Uh, he has an I, I assume, I assume. And uh, I guess that's great and all, but I was hoping for like a different ability. But anyway, so with that said, he does go into Kong Kelder. Um, I lose Weavile because I was thinking that Icicle Crash would do a lot more. I can go with an Ice Shard, but that didn't work out too well, as you saw there. And we can Revenge Kill with Charizard X. Alright, so here's Thunderous and for Thunderous. Um, I'm going to go into Raikou for the first time and just to dodge a Thunder Wave, why don't you? And uh, he might have Focus Plus, and he gets a crit. I have the Assault Vest, which means my Special Defense will be boosted by a long shot here. But since he got that crit, the secondary Focus Blast will finish me off. Which is unfortunate, because now I'm vulnerable to getting paralyzed. I get paralyzed as soon as he does paralyze me with Thunder Wave, and he goes with a Thunderbolt, hoping to do a lot more damage than it does, but that's fine. Here he goes into Mew. I have Crunch, which is super effective. You see the bulk of Charizard X shining through here, as I was able to take that Psychic. Unfortunately, he has a uh, Soft Boiled to restore his HP. I have Roost, and fortunately, I don't get paralyzed. That would have been extremely bad news bears, but not going to matter too much in the long run. And he's going to hopefully take me out. Oh, he's close. And we're able to come out and win that little war there. I am able to take out the Mew, but I am at such low health. I cannot take another hit by Star Raptor in this scenario. And that means I'm going to hopefully outspeed. And we do outspeed. So he's probably um, Sharp Beak. And because he's not scarfed, I'm going to win the match. And if he was scarfed for some reason, he would have outspent me and finished me off with a Brave Bird or a Double Edge. So it was anybody's game. I wasn't sure what the item the Star Raptor was holding, but I was assuming it was Choice Scarf or Choice Band. But we see in this scenario, I think he's either Sharp Beak or Choice Band. 
So, Manaphy comes out strong and finishes off the match. I hope you guys enjoyed the battle. It was a close one over three. Um, yeah, it was a great match I had in video production. And I wasn't drawing a crowd or anything, but it was just a fun match where I was, like, you know, testing out Pokemon and whatnot. Okay, so that's the game. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will hopefully get up another video here shortly. And, of course, my analysis video for the next season. Well, actually, just the first season of the ICL because we actually start. All right, have yourself a great weekend. I'll see you next time. Have a great day, China.